Hello once again, everybody. Uh, welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. We have a, another uh, simple math problem here with some mixed operations. Uh, we've got one here with some addition, multiplication, and division. Uh, so the uh, problem we've got here uh, is 36 divided by 2 times the quantity 5 plus 7. Uh, so yeah, it's not an X. We're not. This is not an algebra problem. That's actually a multiplication symbol here. So it's 36 divided by two times the quantity five plus seven. All right. So first of all, uh, we got to remember the order of operations convention and uh, the fact multiplication and division have precedence over addition. And uh, so uh, and multiplication and division have equal precedence, so you solve left to right in the order you encounter them. So uh, in this case, we've got division uh, that's to the left here if we, as we're going left to right. So division, uh, we would solve that first. Uh, you got 36 divided by 2, that's 18. See, I've got the 18 down here. Uh, now, I'll keep this in mind as we go through this problem. Okay, you've got in parentheses here 5 plus 7, so you got to solve that. That's 12, right? And 18 times 12 is 216. Now, if you're somebody who's memorized PEMDAS or BODMAS, you might be like shaking your head and screaming at the computer going, wait a minute, why didn't you do this at first? Why, didn't, why did you do this division before you did this inside of the parentheses. Well, there's nothing wrong with solving the division and then solving inside of the parentheses as long, and please pay attention, as long as you understand that the calculations inside the parentheses do take precedence. I understand that. The order of operations convention is not so rigid that you can't solve in an efficient manner as long as you get the correct answer and as long as you understand the order of operations and the precedent. So I could have gone ahead and just solved inside of the parentheses first, right? I could have said 5 plus 7, that's 12. Uh, then 36 divided by 2 is 18. 18 times 12 is 216. So yeah, I get the same, uh, you get the same answer that way, right? You get the same answer. Um, the thing is, when I divided, okay, you go back to the way I did this at first, um, I just did this division first. Now, that had no impact on this, what was in parentheses whatsoever. So it's not like, it's not like I went through here and said 36 divided by 2, 2 times 5 is 10, uh, and then add 7. That would be incorrect. That's going against the order of operations, okay? I understand that. And hopefully you understand that as well. So uh, once again, there's nothing wrong with solving these problems in an efficient manner, as long as in your mind you realize the order of operations. Okay, uh, I can't stress that one enough. So uh, anyhow, you can you can double check these problems too. Like this is on a Windows uh, Windows 10 computer. Uh, you know, you can use the scientific mode. Be careful when you do this on a Windows computer. You have normally there's what's called standard. Uh, I think the default is a standard mode. You have to go up here, uh, click on this hamburger menu, and select scientific. If you don't, um, the standard mode calculator just does what this what's called immediate execution mode. So it basically cannot handle multiple operations. You'd have to do that manually. You'd have to use memory functions really to do that properly. Uh, so you can see here, if you enter this in scientific in the scientific mode, um, it can handle multiple operations. You get the right answer of 216. So uh, yeah, that is the correct answer. Um, so hopefully you got 216. Um, I will uh, try to remember here to put a link uh, to the order of operations convention uh, in the description notes for this video. I uh, hope this has been helpful and look forward to seeing you all in the next video.